Okay, um, this is Rani Ahmed with you. Um, this lesson uh, number 36, we'll be talking about how to use and add an uh, a ready to use uh, calendar uh, to your TCL uh, TK uh, program. Uh, now, this calendar is uh, one of the widgets and uh, and I'm using now uh, Debian uh, Linux. Uh, if you have to uh, use Debian Linux, you must have the uh, library, or I mean the library from TK uh, and the Debian package named uh, TKLib. Okay, so download this package and add it to your uh, uh, to your uh, uh, system. Okay, and in uh, this lesson, okay, we'll be showing you how to uh, use it. So, um, yep. Yeah. So to start, first of all, you have to say that you have to require the package named uh, widget uh, double columns, uh, then calendar. Well, okay, then. Uh, you have to define the widget as such widget uh, double column uh, calendar then I name it as a command uh, dot uh, test okay and then I'm going to define a variable I mean sorry a, uh, like a widget command like the default uh, event okay what will happen if I click something on the calendar, okay, and I will use this uh, procedure named set entry, okay, okay, here, this one. Now it has, I know it's awkward a little bit, that set entry has uh, an implicit uh, variable here, one argument, has an implicit argument. And then uh, you have uh, to pack it. Go pack the test so you so you can show it to this on the screen, display it. And then I made another entry which we will show that uh, the data is seriously, I mean, like really is taken uh, and uh, is extracted from the calendar. Okay. And I'm using a text variable and you know from earlier lessons from earlier lessons that uh, whenever you change this variable here uh, the contents of the corresponding widget of this variable will change okay so here the entry will change uh, if I change uh, the contents of the entry I mean will change when I change the uh, text variable okay and then I pack it now I'm going to show you it running Look at this. Now this is our beautiful calendar. Okay, I'm going to make it always on top so you can watch it working as I read the code. Okay, and starting first, uh, I must select uh, one of the uh, entries in black, not the one and the gray. The gray ones are disabled ones. Okay, the gray numbers of the day are uh, disabled. So, if I click, it will fire up the event and call the set entry uh, function or procedure. So, this is our procedure. And as I said, date is an implicit uh, variable. I know it's awkward because you don't, you did not mention here anything after the entry. We don't say something like here, something here, okay? Even the manual did not mention it, okay? But this you get, you get it through the, uh, you know, code testing, okay? When you try the code. Now, what is uh, the variable date here? It doesn't have to be named uh, date, name it anything, but this, there is one argument that you don't see 
okay it's implicit you have to mention it inside your procedure yes okay so first of all I will call the text variable text bar so I can play with the contents of this one here having M's and then if I click it will fire the message boxes which will tell us what's going on okay so starting now for example if I take the 18th of April okay see today is the 20th okay of April so if I select the 18th it will tell you that uh, date that's selected is 18th uh, 18th of April 2012 okay by the, by the way when you don't select anything it is by default the uh, today's date which is the 20th okay that's the default but uh, because I selected something it changed <sighs> now uh, I say uh, press ok and then here I have the uh, day part which is done using this one okay so this is how I get just the day part of the selection okay of the selected date and then later I will be after I press OK I will set the text variable which is the entry so you see the M after I select OK here it must change into the day, uh, the day part which is 18 see this is now 18 okay and similarly for the month and the day and uh, for the month and the year so now it's the day uh, the month part okay so we are now here okay so I'm calling the uh, calendar dot test I named it dot test here and every time I get from it the month and the day then the year and of course I did with the day okay and all will also give you everything okay as this and I think you saw in the video okay so this is how I uh, use it now I'm going to show I'm going to show you how to use it practically more practically because this is just within the main window okay and nobody would put the calendar just you know facing you okay like just stamp it before you okay so now we're going to add it through a code okay which is like this I'm going to use a button which will open okay a new window a subset a sub window okay another dialog box okay just I'm going to just differentiate it a little bit as I haven't done in the uh, Arabic version the differentiation okay but it is the same same very same code okay now the Arabic version shows you the bugs but I'm going to show you them here also okay so um, first of all I'm going to delete this just to show you that you must have that variable there okay and I'm going to close this now okay and before everything I'm going to show you what did I do uh, what's inside that code now first of all I'm saying I have the procedure that will be fired okay when I select anything on the calendar which is uh, attached to the top level window which is the dialog box coming out from the one of the uh, main window okay and I set it not to be resizable at all okay and then I defined the calendar below dot top dot cal okay I <laughs> I defined it as part of the dot top because this is 
my this is my dot top okay it's a top level window as we said and the calendar must be part of the dot top level so I said dot top dot cal okay you can name dot cal whatever you can just put my rubbish cal okay whatever <laughs> okay and this is my command which will call the for but which means I mean I'm calling the function here okay which I said we will fire it okay that this is belonging to the uh, button okay and this is my but okay sorry <laughs> and uh, it will be calling the calendar okay and this is how I'm calling uh, packing the uh, button so it will be shown right below the calendar of the main window and the entry that's on the main window as we explained earlier and it will be after the entry okay because you look here I have you see with me you have the pack packing of the calendar and then packing of the entry okay and then I'm packing the button the button must show another calendar okay now just as a reminder here I have deleted the implicit variable so I'm going to show you that it's necessary to add it because we did not mention it over here okay we did not say something I have another D here okay something like a D here okay I do not say it <sighs> okay so running it again here I'm saying run sorry what happened okay oh sorry it's just silly okay now I'm saying here there's no variables but I'm going to say that just there are you have to mention that you have the brackets of the existence of any function you know as any function you say f of x and y f of x you say you don't say just f so this is what I missed okay but this is not what we want, we want to show that x is not there, okay, as an argument. So again, so I have this is my, uh, you know, like my selection. This is my area program, okay, and then I'm going to select the date, okay. I'm gonna clear this. Just put like ends or access okay because I want to set it again that's what will the uh, for about fu uh, function will do and then I will select it see I get a new one this way you can oh shit oh okay that's a mistake okay not a big deal okay this one for must be the, the top one must be not resizable. Okay. Again. So this is one. Tuck 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 tuck. Okay. Now I'm gonna clear all this. Okay. So this is where the X and M's. Okay, I'm going to reset with the current date. So the current is selected date, so here and I say for example if I click see if there I must have an error because I did not mention that implicit variable which is see it must say for but the default day which is today as I said to you earlier okay so at the start of the lesson so this is the default day okay this is the variable that must be sent with your function okay so I must go back and delete it because I mean the, uh, this uh, session of running and then I must say I have here something like a B even if you don't want to use it you have to say that you 
have to mention it okay you have to mention it so I'm running it again this is my run and now it's empty like I'm gonna say x x x x and I'm gonna run and just to show you that it has changed I'm gonna move it here and then it says select day see and uh, if I uh, hopefully that uh okay see so this is how you can use it okay like imagine that the calendar okay this the the, the main calendar does not exist and you have some other form here so this is how you can make use of it okay this is very 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 practical and this is what mostly in all database applications uh, you would do okay Thanks for watching, please subscribe and your comments. Okay.